Hey guys, Drake here with the Nectar Bar. Do you have these in your landscape? Or do you often drive down the highways, seeing these on the sides of the road, or in deserted fields, or in empty lots that's not been maintained? Do you wonder what they are? Well, these are called common sunflowers. These can be very weedy, um, but they can also be uh, very useful. So if you have them in your landscapes and you keep just a few, you can help all the pollinators that may use this plant as well as birds. Birds absolutely love the seeds. Once this is finished and goes to seed, many finches will come in and, and eat the seed. But this is also a great nectar source for butterflies and bees and other poll pollinators. Um, it's also a host plant. And so the bordered patch and the silvery checker spot will use this, but typically here in San Antonio, Texas, we'll see the most commonly um, used for this is the bordered patch. And as I was coming out to just kind of um, do a couple of things, I happened to notice this leaf here looked a little bit, you know, hey, something's going on here. And by my experience, I typically know that that means there's caterpillars. And sure enough, there they are. Let me zoom in a little bit. And as you can see, there's a lot of them. Yep, these will all eat in this big, huge cluster of a family um, for quite a few instars. So probably their first three instars. And then as they get into their fourth and fifth, they'll separate out and eat separately. Um, instars just meaning that that's their stages of growth. Um, when they hatch from their egg, that's their first instar. Um, and then each one through for butterflies go through five different instars. So shedding um, their skin and growing into their next stage. And then their final shed being um, into their chrysalis. So this here is their host plant. The border patch, as you see all those kids there, they lay big clusters of like 500 eggs um, on all, you know, together in a big clump and then they hatch pretty much all at once and they can really eat a lot. So I have this common sunflower that volunteered here. I have some more out over there, but I also have these um, Maximilian sunflowers. So these were planted purposefully um, just for this reason. They're a little confused this year because they shouldn't be blooming just yet, but it's okay. I'm not I'm not going to complain. I'll take some blooms in the in the start of summer here. Um, but yeah, so they use everything that's in the sunflower family. So they will eat on this one. They will also eat the Maximilian sunflower. And they also eat the um, frostweed. So if you have frostweed in your habitat, they will also use that as well for a host plant. Um, yep, so I just wanted to share that with you. Lots of people see these beautiful flowers just right along the side of the highway as we're driving. Um, and now you know what they're used for, as well as just being beautiful for us to enjoy. So there you have it. Until next time, peace, love, and butterflies.